Hello again, partners. And that most unusual name was the Swamp Fox. This week's honoree's real name was Francis Marion. He certainly ranks up there with the others when it comes to more unusual people my researcher and writer Dennis Daly has found for me to profile. The most important thing about the Swamp Fox was that he was an unconventional fighter. You see, when British troops squared off against the American rebels, they expected the Americans to line up in rows and fight in formation. <laughs> After all, that's the way the British troops were trained, and that was the traditional way of fighting in Europe. But starting with the skirmish at Lexington and Concord, the first real battles of the Revolutionary War, the Americans took a lesson from Native Americans. The Americans engaged in what we call guerrilla warfare. They fired from behind rocks. They had snipers. The one thing they didn't do was to line up in formation and march into battle, being mowed down row after row. This new kind of fighting really made the British angry. Why, you're not fighting properly, old boy. Your methods are not cricket. <laughs> I make you think cricket. Well, the American rebels couldn't care less about fighting in the traditional way. They knew they were outnumbered and knew that the British Army was the best in the world. The only way they could compete with British would be to find new ways of fighting. And here's where this week's honoree comes into the story. Francis Marion was born in the 1730s. His main job was to fight the British when their troops came to the Carolinas. Marion knew that the British had never fought in swamps and bayous before. He knew that if he could find some local men who knew the area like the back of their hands, he could fight the British and win. So Marion used irregular methods of warfare. He's considered one of the fathers of modern day guerrilla warfare and what is called maneuver warfare. Today's military special forces, the Green Berets, have loved this guy's in history lessons. They always say that Francis Marion is their godfather. It was during this fighting that the British began to call Marion the Swamp Fox. Now I'm going to make you go back with some of our own things that you're going to remember now. You see, Marion and his men would come out from the swamps and stage a surprise attack on the British, often using snipers. Then, as quickly as they had appeared, the old Swamp Fox and his men would disappear back into the thick undergrowth. Now you got to go back and remember this. That's how Jean Lafitte and his pirates later won the War of 1812. Years, years later, helping Andrew Jackson. I knew you'd remember that. Well, in 1959, the Swamp Fox came to television as a miniseries produced by Walt Disney Studios. The Swamp Fox was portrayed by Leslie Nielsen. You'll remember him, great actor. Nielsen also sang the show's theme song. The Swamp Fox was not as popular or as successful as Disney's Davy Crockett series. You remember that? But it got good ratings. An entire new generation of American young people learned about a little-known hero in a most entertaining way. Eight hour-long episodes were produced. They were also aired on the Canadian Broadcasting Company. Oh, oh, by the way, in some ways the Mel Gibson movie, The Patriot, was loosely based on Francis Marion, the Swamp Fox. So there's another name to remember, the Swamp Fox. His new kind of fighting kept the British on the run during the Carolinas campaign of the American Revolution. All right, okay, you know the drill, partners. Look up there, 
Those three boxes, the one on the right, has that big old red X. Just click on that, and as I always say, swish, you'll come right back to our report page and hear the rest of what we're going to say. Dinkster, by the way, man, he's just, you just having, he's running the people wild back there because he's wanting to get out of bed and come on and do everything. I just, I love this guy, and he's doing so well after his heart surgery. Dennis Daly knows just where to return in time to bring the perfect stories for me to re video and report to you guys. Also, my special thanks go to all of you partners who've been so helpful with your contributions to our little foundation listed below. Yep, those tax-free checks mean so much. Bless your hearts. God bless you for donating like that. Please remind the teachers and principals let me come visit their history and civic classes to tell my versions of stories they no longer teach today in the school. You know me, I love getting hugs from old little students. And we always hold hands in a circle, closing our sessions with a prayer for each other and our leaders in Washington. God bless you. And God bless America. And Dennis Daly, thank you for researching my stories to bring our partners. So good. I love you. Go get them, tigers!